Hi, so these things, they're actually one of the most common things I find. I think I've found about six of them in the last couple of months or so. People seem to throw them away for all kinds of reasons, from the fuse going, to the chopped up, to the belt going. Sometimes it's the motor that goes, but to be honest, it's really quite rare. It's for lots of other reasons that people throw these away. And we've done a whole load of things with them. I mean, you can use them for dust extraction, vacuum formers, just a load of things you can do with them. So I'm gonna rip another one of these apart, but what I'm concentrating on is the motor. There's in there is a universal motor. So let's get the motor out. Okay, getting these motors out really is a piece of cake, eh? Okay? It's about half a dozen screws, just undo them, foot drops off, and then the back lifts off, you slide the switch out, there's the motor there. And we can see really why this thing is knackered, I mean that really is dusty. So we don't know what, to what extent it's damaged, but let's get it out there and have a look. As an aside, when I pulled this motor to pieces, all this rubbish fell out, which is probably why the Hoover gave up the ghost. Uh, I can look at the brush and I can see the brushes are in fine condition. Really, all it needed was a clean, put it back together, and it would have worked. We're going to use this mug for something else, so we're not going to do that. I'll just finish the cleaning process. But I wanted to show you how much dust came out of the thing. Okay, so I've cleaned it up on the outside. It's still pretty dusty on the inside, but I've connected up my multimeter and you're going to read a voltage off of it. Now, it's a DC generator, so if we spin that, we should get a DC voltage out of it. To do that, I'm going to put a vacuum cleaner hose right on there, and that should spin that. We do indeed get a voltage out of it. Okay, let's pull the rest of it apart and get it clean. It's really easy to do it actually. That impeller com comes off. There's a bolt in there that you undo, which removes that impeller blade, and then a couple of bolts there will remove the plastic housing. So here it is apart and cleaned. I only had to take it apart because I really needed to clean it. There's the rotor, there's the stator. You can see it's got two coils on it. There's the coil coming out one side, there it goes to the brushes. The brushes actually in lovely condition, so it really was just all of that dirt in here. On this side, incidentally, we've got a thermal cutout right there. So I'm going to take that thermal cut out, out, and snip it off and um, solder a new piece of wire on there. Then put the whole thing back together. Okay, that's it all cleaned up and put back together. Now remember, these motors are also DC generators. That's what's so cool about them. Now, we're going to turn it into a generator, obviously, and I want to make it a wind generator, which means I've got a load of options. I mean, one thing I could do is get a circular plate and then bolt a load of blades on it, and we can make a wind generator that way. But to be honest, when we're doing something that's a little bit funky, like turning a hoover into a windmill, which is just an awesome thing to do, you've got to think about something else, haven't you? Now, we've got a lot of these things. Well, I say a lot. I've got this one. This is obviously a um, vertical generator, a VAWT, although in this way it's a HAWT. But I got this from, um, what was it, Asda were doing a refurbishment, and I did a video on this, putting these two together to make this rotor. Love it. So that's what I'm going to bolt my uh, Hoover motor onto. You find these things actually in this sort of arrangement as well. This came out of a vertical fan. Uh, this came out of uh, an air conditioning unit. And I'm going to bolt my motor onto this air conditioning unit. And we'll see if we can get something out of it. Okay, so I've bolted the whole thing together. All I'm going to do is put a hairdryer on it. I've turned the meter around there so that you can see it. And what we're wanting it to do is generate something. I'm reading volts on this and it's not under load. Uh, 3.2, 3.9, 4, 4.8, 5, 5.5. So I think that answers the question, can you take an old vacuum cleaner and turn it into a wind generator? Clear you can. Now, I only did this because I had it lying around. I mean, you might want to bolt some blades on it. There's a whole load of things you might want to do with it. This thing works better the quicker it turns. So putting some gearing on it would also help. But... Can you take a, a old vacuum cleaner, turn it into a windmill? Yes, you can. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.